us, how was it uh, just getting that ovation from the crowd? And, and also talk about your thoughts on the tribute that the Thunder did for you. <clears throat> oh, man, it's, you know, it's, some things you can't put into words just because I've been there for <clears throat> so long and uh, so many great memories, great people, obviously the best fans <clears throat> in the world because they they come with it and tonight they, they, they came with it. And <clears throat> excuse me, the organization, Sam, Mr. Bennett, you know, they do an amazing job of just making you feel home and I feel like I was home. Did you feel Feel kind of weird going, you know, going into that visitors' locker room instead of the home locker room this time. Or? Yeah, of course. I've never been in there. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, definitely, the whole thing is a little weird coming into the building, going there, and even going through that tunnel. Um, but once I got back on the court, I felt like I was back, you know, doing the same thing I always been doing the last eleven years. You show you you've obviously paid <clears throat> homage. You had your Jordans on tonight. You why not? You know, just talk about why you want to do that for the city and just um, show your gratitude. Say it again. You know, why not use zero point threes? Yeah. Just talk about that, you know, paying homage to the city through your sneakers and, and your back. Um, it started with my, my clothing line. Honestly, that, that was a, a clothing line and a gift. I wanted to do something uh, for the, the city, for the people. Um, and me and uh, my team, uh, we came up with uh, zero regrets and something that I um, Craig, we try to figure out what I can do for the city, and um, I don't regret one thing being here in Oklahoma City. I don't regret um, signing back. I don't regret staying here. I don't regret anything that I did here. I feel like I left everything out on the floor every single night um, and did what I could for the city. Russell, a lot of great players have come here and moved on. They haven't done that kind of video tribute for anybody. What did it mean to you to be the first one? I um, mean, it's special. You know, it's a um, very, very special thing that meant a lot to me, honestly. Um, and coming back here just making me feel uh, like I was very, very appreciated. Appreciated, and um, I, I appreciate it a lot. Russ, after the game, you remember <coughs> Clay Bennett a hug, uh, and Aubrey's widow as well. What, what made you decide that's something you wanted to do? Um, Mr. Bennett's done a lot for me and my family. He has done things that go unnoticed. He's always <clears throat> very, very supportive of anything I've ever done for the city. Um, while I was here in Oklahoma, um, the fans here, the people, um, they never did me no wrong. I have nothing, no bad blood and nothing here in the city from no fans, no nobody in the organization, uh, because they gave me all they have and I gave them all I have. Russell, you've learned about the trade last summer with Houston. What were your initial expectations of what the integration process would be like and how have you seen that so far? Um, it's going to be a, a process. Um, we're in a good position now. We have a, a long road ahead of us. We're preparing ourselves for long term and that's to win the championship. Russ, it's the second time playing with Thunder this year. What do you see from your former team on the court, how they're playing this season? Uh, they play better than obviously the last time we seen them, um, they're playing a the better stretch right now, um, using their pace, their speed, <clears throat> their speed to their advantage. Well, Russell, what was it like for you to be able to, to energize the crowd the way you did in pregame, particularly you know, running to the corner like you do in pregame? Um, like I said, I feel like I was home. Plain and simple, I didn't. Um, I didn't get this feeling of like I was nervous or like it was weird. It's just like I felt like I was playing. Back at Chesapeake, like just like a normal game for me, honestly. Um, obviously, with everything going on, is not a normal night. But me personally, um, once I got on the floor, that's how I felt. Russ, before and after you got on the floor, I, mean, I know you know so many of this arena staff. In addition to people within the organization, what were those reunions like for you? Um, that was great. Those are the most important ones um, because those are the people that. Show up every night, uh, support, don't have an attitude, always smiling, always asking how my family is, how my kids are doing, uh, how I'm doing. And to me, that means more than anything because those people, uh, whether it's 
the security, whether it's the people that work in the back that people don't see that don't even come out to the court. Um, for me, that those relationships I cherish more than anything because um, those people matter, and everybody in this arena matter because they uh, were part of the Thunder, and I feel like I would say everybody was a family. Yeah, Rush, you know, as, as well as anybody, how loud this crowd can get. Yeah. Uh, early in the game, uh, Thunder got it rolling. It was a timeout. How strange was it to be on the other side of that loud crowd? Um, definitely different, but, you know, once you start hooping and competing, you know, you kind of zone it out a little bit. So 